Hello everybody, my name is Ana Andrade, or Miss Andrade, or Señorita Andrade, and today we will be talking about the Math and Literacy book. And just a heads up, just to let you know, I did post my book topic under the class blog because that's where I thought it, it was initially supposed to be posted. And on that module for that week, just letting you know, on that Sunday, I did choose my book. Um, other than that, let's get started. The lesson title is Creating Equal Groups with Raisins. The book that I chose is The Grapes of Math. The length for this lesson would be an estimate between 45 to 15 minutes just because of setting and going over class behavior. The step subject standards that I've chosen to do will be Math Continent 3.0A82 and Math Continent 3.0A8.3, where students will see and do multiplication and division within 100s to solve word problems, as well as knowing how to distribute numbers into equal groups to show how we divide. So the goal of this the goal of this unit is for students will see the construction of how to divide whole numbers into equal groups with the use of raisins and to create arrays. Students will also be able to discover different ways to identify equations through manipulatives, which are the raisins in this case. My objective for this lesson is that students in third grade will be able to divide whole numbers and build arrays that represent their division sentences. The multiple intelligence that will be addressed are physical experience, which is bodily kinesthetic, natural intelligence, which has to do with the grapes. The grapes are natural. They are seeds. You can even extend to that into science if you want it to. Numbers or logic, mathematical intelligence, spatial intelligence, and interpersonal because they will be working with their peers. The assessment for this lesson will be that teachers will observe students' understanding by asking questions as a class. The teacher will provide an exit ticket by providing the students with an equation that they must demonstrate by using the raisins as an array in their white paper to ensure every student is observed and assessed. The learning environment. So before students receive the materials or when students have the materials, it is important, at least with me, it is important that students learn um, the class behavior Sorry, the class behavior of my ex of what to expect. So the expectancy of the behavior with how to use the materials appropriately. For allergies, I will use plain animal cookies as an alternative, if not Play-Doh, and the students can keep the Play-Doh if they want. Students who are struggling with division and multiplication math facts will be paired with a partner as well as given a division a times table chart. Because when we do divide, we can also see how many times that number can go into the group. So it's a very good tool to have. Self-control issues. So students that are not able to follow instructions after two warnings or the very first warning, I will have to take it away and replace it with Play-Doh or base 10 units. And we don't want that. <laughs> Materials and equipment. Um, materials and technology that will be needed, of course, it will be the book, The Grapes of Math. Um, it would be the boxes of sun-made raisins, as well as paper plates, white papers, like just white paper, the ones from where you print. Parent helpers will be very, very useful. Also a computer with a projector, so you can project the equations that will be used with the students. Of course, the equations, a Ziploc bag that contains six raisins. Also optional, I did put right here, if you do not want to read the story or you might be absent, 
for that day, uh, I, you can have, you can project the book as an alternative. So here are the steps throughout the lesson. So the steps is the I do, we do, and you do. The I do is the introduction. So I would have my students in the carpet during group time, and I would read the book to them. And as well, when I'm reading the book, I will ask them questions. I will stop to ask them questions. How many groups are there? Other questions that will also come into mind while reading the book or beforehand that I will already have ready. The teacher will also call three classmates to the front of the group. This is where the teacher will use a Ziploc bag that contains six raisins. And I would ask their peers, I have a bag of six raisins and three friends. How can I make it fair? Distrib and I will distribute the raisins till it is fair. Um, the teacher will then dismiss the students to their groups. The rationale before, behind this is that to engage students in learning activity, of course, when they have a book and then they have their peers come to the front, it can be very interactive. Pre-assessment of students' knowledge, this will allow me to know when I'm reading the book and before we start the lesson with the materials, I would want to know where my students are academically and if they are struggling with the concept of multiplication or division or distributing distribution and as well as relationships between math and life events knowing how to share the through which is the we do so i will have i will personally Bleep will place paper plates in the middle of the tables. Each student will receive a box of sun-made raisins as well as a sheet of paper. And of course, students will not be able to eat the sun the sun-made raisins until the very end of the lesson. Students will work with their partners. So students will start off with working with their partners to just their elbow partners to distribute the raisins on a paper plate. So that's why I have the paper plates in the middle so like that students can use as many paper plates as they need. So I would just start off with the paper plates going from 15 to 20. That should be enough for a group of four. So for a table of four and then two groups. That's what I mean. <laughs> With their partner, students will then create an array based on four to five different problems and write an equation sentence. So this is where students will use their sun-made raisins is to also not just distribute into paper plates, but then afterwards they will create an array with their raisins. And this will still be done with their partner. The rationale behind this is to see and understand the distribution process critical thinking, collaboration, and to solve word problems involving equal groups. Whoops, I will take that out afterwards. <laughs> the beyond, so this is the exit ticket, or the they do, sorry. The beyond is the they do. This is where the exit ticket will be taken place as well as the homework assignment. So their exit ticket is where students will independently, so this is where they will have their own, they were doing this independently. Well, they were create their own array using their raisins on the white construction paper and an equation sentence. Now, before I go, I'm going to go back really quick because we also will be doing equation sentences as they are creating the arrays with their partners. I do want to clarify that. So going back is there's, the students will independently create their own array using their raisins on the white construction paper and an equation sentence. Now, students that might be struggling still with this concept, that is okay. This is done independently, and this will let me see where they are academically and if they need that extra one-on-one -on -one support. And if they're feeling frustrated, giving them some breaks, that would be another alternative, and then coming back to it. Once students have been checked, they can eat the recess. Now, that's why I want to do this before recess time, or you can just have the students eat the recess after everybody has been checked so like that there wouldn't be too much noise. 
or they can just eat it while others are still working. This is a fun activity. As their homework assignment, I decided to do a fun activity, which is where students will students will design or illustrate at home an array with materials found in their homes, such as erasers, pencils, pens, crayons, paper clips, hair ties, Play-Doh, as well as write an equation sentence. And students will glue this down and they will present it to the class. And as my rationale behind this is students will show their comprehension of knowing how to divide with the use of daily objects, the process of dividing into equal groups. Well, that is all folks. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to see what you guys have to show. Um, I had a lot of fun doing and creating this lesson plan. See you guys soon. Bye.